interesting um, little thing that happened tonight. Um, I kind of figured that people have like more to say to me, but they're not saying it because they're afraid to say it. They're afraid of how I'll react or that I'll take it personally or I'll get offended or upset or start crying. Um, I think that I would have like, you know, 10 years ago. Which is why I'm really, really glad that I didn't do stand-up before. I'm glad that I waited as long as I did. Um, and I'm glad that I'm doing it in front of like new groups of people because I'm understanding like how much of a disservice I've done myself just performing in front of the same comics that already love me and already think I'm funny. and. It's like they expect me to get up there and be weird and off the wall and, and I mean, they appreciate me. I'm a comedian's comedian, but a comedian's comedian isn't going to do very well with a bunch of people that don't really understand the whole Andy Kaufman, Bill Hicks kind of shit. Um, And I don't even want to like compare myself to those dudes because it's like they were so good at what they did um, that I hate it. I don't think I don't know. Don't think I'm not aware that I'm. I I can sound really arrogant a lot of the time and just like put myself up on a pedestal. I'm. I just say that because I work really hard in relation to, you know, the, the, the channel where, you know, I, I just have a lot of videos that I put up and, you know, I do stand up with new material and I'm always working on new stuff. I'm always um, putting more and more out there, but I just want it to be effective. That's all, man. That's all I care about. I don't give a shit about money or fame or anything like that. I just want to affect people. I want to be a positive influence on everybody. But one of the dudes that was like telling me like, yeah, you really need to work on your everything. Um, his name is Judge. Like that's his government name. That's the name his parents gave him. And I was like, that's really cool, man. Like, I feel like that's symbolic. <laughs> and the thing is, I could tell, like, tonight, I could tell that he wanted to say something, and I could tell that the bartender, bar owner, I, I could tell that she really wanted to say something, but they weren't saying it, and I was just like... I'm just going to ask them, like straight up, like tell me your opinion. I want to know. And it was funny because like Christy, what's the name of this chick that, that owns this bar, she like was trying to hold back so bad and I was like no get it out of her, get it out of her and she finally just told me like straight up. It's like, are you just trying to piss people off? <laughs> Somebody asked me that in the beginning. I guess, I guess I was a little bit, but I understand that, like, that's not really art, just pissing people off, you know? It's like if you if you say stuff that makes people mad or makes people uncomfortable, you have to release them at some point. You have to release them with humor. You have to release them with something that amuses them so they don't stay pissed off or they don't stay uncomfortable. You know? That's the art form. So 
That's the beauty of sculpting. But yeah, I'm doing this this uh, set tomorrow, and I'm actually like really hesitant about it now, considering the feedback I got tonight. You know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe um, it'll be amazing. But I have people like I've church people, I've work people, um, comic friends of mine that they, they're all coming and so I'm just like god what if it's terrible you know I just don't ever want to like feel like oh I got this you know um, it'll be fine it'll be good I'm, I'm such an amazing comic you know like that's such a terrible attitude you gotta just assume that that um, they're gonna hate you and that you're gonna fail and all that because when you have that kind of mindset I know that sounds weird um, when you when you're confident in the things that you're saying but you're convinced, like, okay, they're, they might not like it. That forces you to have to work even harder. Like, okay, I have to make them like it. I have to make them understand my perspective. I have to make them laugh even though they really, really don't want to. Or, you know, even if they don't agree with me, I have to make them come around to my perspective and go, oh, maybe, maybe she's not as wrong as I want her to be, you know? But... It was really cool because, like, having that conversation, like, they did not expect me to agree with every single thing that they said, but I did because I typically agree with any kind of criticism that I receive. Um, and I just kept, like, finishing their sentences, too, you know? Like, every time they would say something to me that they thought was going to, like, be upsetting I would always follow it with like a statement that they agreed with they were like oh oh she does understand comedy <laughs> yes I do that's why I do it but sometimes it doesn't always work which is the point of you know awareness and you know paying attention and trying to do better and improve upon your craft I need to go to bed. I'm sorry, Borta. I just keep yakking and yakking. Do I not? We always do that, don't we?